I chose to do the honors program firstly because I had already planned on doing a senior project because I wanted to have a more cumulative sort of capstone experience. And then I had the opportunity to really design the curriculum that went into my senior thesis and to be able to form relationships early on with professors that I could bring forth and draw upon when I started actually writing and putting together the project. Thinking about doing the honors program and kind of making that choice of committing to like, all right, let's do the honors program. I feel like it's a smart choice because you get involved in a different level of literature than the rest of the English major. I know specifically having to take English 481, which was a course on literary criticism for the honors program, completely changed how I viewed literature. I know there's something about taking courses on medieval literature or taking courses on modern literature, but then there's also something about taking a course and having to read literary critics like Derrida and Foucault and Althusser, and then having to see what people have to say about language and then being able to take that back into your other English courses. It really just completely expands the way that you're able to look at literature. And I feel like it makes the English major a lot more worthwhile. But my thesis project kind of began a year ago when I actually took a class on campus. It was called Literature and HIV AIDS here in the English department and I became really fascinated with kind of like the HIV AIDS epidemic as a whole, both like historically and culturally up until now. So my thesis is trying to narrate a transition between a more kind of personal and familial consciousness into a more um, social and historical consciousness, um, trying to understand what these historical events like the HIV AIDS epidemic mean to people who are alive today. To what extent do we inherit those things and to what extent do we not? Um, how do those inheritances kind of reconcile and where do they coincide? So. I hope to write about immigrant literature um, and diaspora literature. I guess I really am looking to put a lot of myself into this thesis, so really making it something that um, is like the culmination of my undergrad education, like all my skills, but also like the um, the like passion and interest and perspective that I offer. I know working with Mario was a, a blessing. He's fantastic because he's so interested in sitting down with you on one and just talking about, okay, what exactly do you want to do and do you want to work on? So kind of at the end of my junior year, summer before my senior year when I was starting to work on my project, it's just sort of like, okay, what do you want to do? And I decided that I wanted to write all about science fiction and fantasy books. And Mario, he let me roll with that. He's like, okay, science fiction, fantasy, awesome. What's important to say about that? I think the mentorship is actually one of the best parts about this process. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with Professor Begem for almost a year and a half now. And once I got into the writing process, uh, I think that's also one of the one of the benefits of doing this is you really, really learn how to write and you learn how to structure a project of this size. Uh, so I mean, I would, I did a lot of drafting and I would go in and he would sometimes work through it almost sentence by sentence with me. Through this process, I think I really was able to develop my style as a writer, my own academic style, and uh, Professor Began really helped me to find my own voice on a lot of, a lot of these very complicated issues. So I would highly recommend doing it. Um, it's a completely different experience from just going to lecture. For my honors project, I'm working with um, Professor Ahmad Johnson. When we meet bi-weekly, he will talk to me about what, I, what, what things I should be reading, different authors that are asking the same questions that I'm asking in my thesis. Um, so I'll get a lot of book recommendations, and a lot of it is just talking about the process, talking about the craft, talking about what it is life like if you're trying to like be a poet, whatever that means for you. Um, so it's very kind of like a good mix of practical hands-on, here's what you're reading, here's what you're writing, let's talk about the poems, and also at a high level, what does this thing we do even mean, which is really cool. Something that actually my involvement in the Writing Fellows program has helped me understand, and just the closer I get to graduation, is that 
What's most impactful in my education is like what I bring to the table and how I can direct conversations and like make what I'm learning really meaningful. I'm not very done to be like passive about being here. Um. Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Redfield and I have the pleasure and the honor of being the undergraduate advisor in the English department. Now that you've heard from our wonderful students, I'd like to tell you how you can find out about being an honors major as well. You can find me on the English department website with my schedule and how to make an appointment with me, and this is what I'd recommend. To be an honors major is not going to slow you down in your major. This is something that you can do and still graduate in four years. As you've heard from our students, you can enrich your experience of being an English major by being an honors major. Some people do go to graduate school with their honors major and they use their thesis as their writing sample. Some people choose not to go to graduate school but still find that the process is immensely rewarding for all the reasons that you've just heard. So if you're thinking about being an honors major, there's no commitment at the beginning. You just need to come and make an appointment with me. There is a GPA requirement which we can talk about but it's a very easy process and I'd be very happy to meet with you and talk to you about becoming an honors major in the English department.